hey what's up today we'll talk about uploading multiple images so I'm in this e-commerce website uh, let's log in so slash admin so if you want to follow along you can download this project from github and just get it started so one thing I would like to say if you are following with this e-commerce website in order to uh, log into admin area you need to be uh, the user with admin access so currently I'm just handling uh, simply so if you are admin you have this uh, one in your database so make sure uh, the user you are logging in with has this admin access okay so let's log in so here we are adding a product so currently it is a simple form with just one field so if we want to add multiple fields we might have uh, other interface so for that we'll use this drop zone js so this will allow us to uh, allow us this kind of box where we can just put images and it will upload so you can test it out okay you can test here so I have some images okay you can just uh, drag and drop like this yeah it looks cool so let's uh, install this so I'll uh, reference it through CDN so just search for uh, drops on CDN okay so I'll need this CSS and JS uh, just uh, go to the layout file so layout admin and I'll include it here just below similarly uh, let's grab this JS and and just include it here after uh, jQuery all right after that uh, we need to include our form to make something like this box so that where we can upload images so for that uh, you just need to yeah you just need to make forms uh, like this so I'll copy this so this will behave as something like this so you don't need to put in input inside that okay so let's switch back to our project and let's go to our product creation page so product create so which is this page uh, previously we are just uploading one image one image so we have this form so what we can do now is so this uh, form is for creating product everything up to here and what uh, we can now do is we can we have to create a new form uh, to create to upload image so let's so we cannot insert that form inside this form okay so that is not acceptable so now let's uh, put that form in this view so that is the product index view and in another div we'll put it just like so and we'll create another div to hold other product related information so that will be a so let's keep it class row and keep it class container okay it fixed up it so you can work on CSS and make it look nicer so for now it is okay all right so yeah to make this ID unique I will just keep it a uh, product ID as well all right so now if you want to uh, upload the image for this product you can up upload it here here okay now we need to make a new route to handle this so let's make a new URL in our web.psp 
so I'll create a new route and will require the product ID okay let's make this method let's sit on working on upload and uh, let's up, uh, update this method as well so which will be product and and see if it is working and let's upload for this mm. let's see on our network tab what's there I think that is related to okay I got there so that uh, we define get route it should be post silly mistake let's make it above the resources uh, so another might be let's close everything else let's go to index product index and another thing we need to add is we need to add a CSRF field as well because otherwise it will throw CS CSRF mismatch okay CSRF field oh we are prefixing it with admin so yeah we need to update that as well so it should be admin Less admin okay now it's working you can see yeah working on upload so you need to concentrate on these simple mistakes so in GLive I'll give uh, the route name and uh, reference the route name here that will be much safer and easier all right so now we are uh, sending the correct request so if we upload four images it will send four ajax requests so for that uh, so here we need to get file so uh, these will be similar to these methods like simple file upload so uh, i'll just copy for reference okay so also we need a request instance so uh, we need to first grab the file so by default the name of uh, the field here so if you notice we def uh, haven't defined the field so by default that is already defined with name our uh, file so uh, that is the image so if image will get the image name uh, by using get client original name and then uh, we'll move it to uh, images folder or let's see where we can put so public images yeah, let's put it there so we'll move it to images and yeah we'll supply the image name and first we'll find the product Okay. After that, we'll create. Uh, we'll create. Uh, we'll save our image name into our uh, some database. So, currently, I would like to save it like. Uh, so I would like to call product images, and I would like to call a create and then I'll pass a name called image path so that path name will be images slash let's, let's define a variable image path 
so that path will be all right so here uh, so as you notice we do not have this uh, relation with product so let's define a relationship also we need to create our database so that we can uh, insert this one okay so first we'll create our relationship in our product model as many so that need to be created we do not have it currently create this model product image so let's switch to terminal and let's create one php artisan make model product image and let's uh, create a migration as well okay let's go to that migration create product image and here we are uh, i would like to have one field string field that will be and name will be image path so that will be this image path also we'll have a uh, integer mm, yeah let's create that and this will have this uh, product ID and let's go to product image class and define uh, I'll define garbage so that everything is fillable for now and let's define a relationship so uh, this product image belongs to our product so return this belongs to so let's migrate so php artisan migrate okay that's migrated now in product controller we are uh, here uploading images let's upload another image just to uh, test this out and i will return just for now return done so that we get feedback so in real life you might want to display some error message or something so let's test that in browser hope nothing is broken everything working yeah so I'll uh, include couple of images let's include all these so let's check currently we have one these these images and let's drop this down all right it seems to work yeah so let's go and let's see yeah we got uh, these three images and let's switch to database and we have product images and we have these images yeah so uh that's working so this is how you store uh multiple images upload so uh now you can display your images mm, let's display here okay for now i'll not focus on css thing i'll just mm, make a new div and i will display some images Okay, let's uh, display here okay so uh, I'll loop through so product images as mm, image I'll uh, just include it in image tag so here I uh, will reference that path So that path will be image so image uh, path so that should show up uh, our images so we are uh, grabbing all the images related to the product and 
we are displaying it in our uh, image okay okay that is because in uh, while saving we are using uh, the public path so that might work in web server but so uh, slash images and image name all right so let's delete everything okay now let's upload all of these okay everything uploaded let's refresh yeah we can see images this time yeah not big yeah you can uh use css and make this look nicer like for now i will just uh, include the style here style uh, max width equals to 100 pixel or something like that yeah okay yeah for now uh, that is totally fine so another thing to make a file name uh, image name uh, just unique you can you can just concatenate it with uh, current time have the time stamp in front of image name yeah, that might be another option so so that it will not uh, collide with another so let's upload the image for this as well so let's make sure we saved everything yeah so let's upload just this image for one let's refresh all right so that's working so similarly you can display it on front end as well uh, so process is uh, similar uh, you just need to uh, reference you just need to put this code in your front end so everything will be working so this is how you handle the multiple file uh, image upload so multiple images you can upload um, whatever kind of file like pdfs any other okay so currently we are not doing validation you can do uh, validation here if you have any question you can ask uh, in comment below and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video as well so i will see you in the next video